Spring Island um, at a Laughing Gall Colony in Cape May County behind Stone Harbor and Avalon, Seven Mile Island. It's been the largest Laughing Gall Colony in New Jersey and at times in the world. Um, more Laughing Galls have nested here than anywhere else. So right now we have chicks just starting to hatch um, from the nest and um, it's a busy season for them. There's a lot of activity here, lots of birds. Um, they're taking care of their chicks. They're ones that still have eggs. They're, they're sitting on those eggs. They're incubating the eggs so they can hatch soon. And this is an egg that's in the process of hatching. It'll be out of the eggshell and um, join the nest. The parents will be back to remove the eggshell. The other two eggs within hope soon after will be hatching too. So there should be three chicks in that nest before long. Laughing gulls are a species that are so tied to the Jersey Shore experience. They nest out here in the marshes. We become acquainted with them on the boardwalks and on the beaches when we're trying to eat and, and they, they can be a nuisance over there. But th when you see them out here on the marsh doing their thing, trying to take care of their, their nest, trying to um, take care of those eggs, take care of their chicks, get food for their chicks, um, it's a whole different scene. And, and this is a pretty amazing spot. Um, you hear this noise all day, every day. Um, it's the sound, this like collective sound of this large colony is really a part of this place. They um, nest very close to each other. They nest in, in spots that are very vulnerable to flooding. And so it's really important that they choose the right spot, that they choose the right neighbors, that they choose the right materials to build their nest um, so they have a chance at survival and raising young. This is where they live. This is where they exist. And the coast and everything else is, is a part of that. Um, I think we interact with them in ways that make them more of a nuisance to us. We, feed them food, we train them to come to us for food. And so they begin to make those associations just like they make other associations for where to find food. We're pretty predictable. And so the gulls have learned how to take advantage of that. Yeah, I think people um, are surprised sometimes by the connections they make when they kind of see um, the other side of laughing gulls or when they see come out on a boat tour through the salt marsh or get out and see these nesting areas, see the chicks, see, see laughing gulls being parents and all the work that goes into that. Um, you know, some people's minds are changed or they at least have a little kinder thought about laughing gulls after experiencing um, how they are out here on the marshes. Laughing gulls in their natural state.